Great. Okay. You guys okay? Um, so, will you just remind uh, us, please, of your names? I'm Salvas. Salvas. Yeah, and I'm Natia. 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 Yeah. Okay. And what's the name of your project? Uh, we haven't thought a name, but we can call it a, a challenging contemporary interaction, maybe. <laughs> yeah, challenging contemporary <laughs> interaction. Maybe. Interaction. Okay. Yeah. Good. Go with the owning it. That's it. So, challenging contemporary interpretations. Interactions. Interactions. <laughs> 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 because then we're really kind of. So it's <laughs> I like it. EC for short. Um, just to remind the audience that we're not advice giving or guiding in this part of the or, of the process. What we're doing is kind of provoking, seeing what bits of the project they haven't thought about, and sort of bringing you know bringing um, revealing more stuff about the project for the artists themselves. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you two minutes to do your pitch. Yeah. Are you cool to go? Forget. Uh, so um, we're both interested in basically in, in social media and how we interact with people through them. And we started uh, discussing about uh, different behaviors like, you know, uh, you know how you swipe on Tinder and you know, how can we make that into a physical kind of thing? Maybe we can relate it into, you know, it, um, we were at this party and we're talking about Tinder, and, you know, it looks like you're conducting an orchestra or something because you do that and then you do that. And they were thinking maybe we should uh, extract more ideas out of the social media and how we interact with each other and actually give tasks to the people, to some, a group of people and challenge how we interact with each other. So we're thinking more about things we do, like, you know, this anxi anxiety you get when you have the three bubbles on your iMessage and you're just trying to understand what the other person says. So create some situations where you can edit yourself or your image to the other person. Um, I don't know what else, what other tasks or... This um, judging that people um, do through the social media, through what you provoke actually about yourself. Uh, sorry. Um, for example, it's all about showing off and it's all about um, showing to people what you're doing and what you're feeling and what you are. And um, I was, we were thinking that uh, we have lost actually um, the physical interaction with each other and uh, the way we communicate with people is it's just easier to do it through social media or through um, digital media and everything. And uh, yeah, we, we, we want to try and find ways to bring back and question it, and um, yeah. <laughs> so basically, uh, the tasks we were thinking of just basically giving some ideas of how you know we do that and that, how we observe people interacting in the, in the social media, and then making tasks that can make in, like really awkward or intimate interaction make people actually in, uh, interacting in really intimate way. So bring that back because the social media make you don't not re take that risk of being in embarrassing situations of actually interacting okay. with people. Thank you. Thanks for that uh, explanation. Um, so I'm going to kick off just by asking uh, for a little bit more uh, clarity around what your project actually is uh, in terms of what happens, what, mm -hmm. what will happen, what's the end result? Is it a dance piece? Is it a show? Is it a film? Is it a poem, <laughs> but uh, how are you thinking of okay. um, To be honest, um, w we have written down um, eight or nine tasks, uh -huh. and that would be a journey of experience. For, an, for a participant, for, the for an audi audience member yeah. or for a player. We haven't mm. thought of having a dance piece, right. end, but uh, it was more about creating and looking at how people would uh, use the tasks and what comes out of it and the experience of it. Great. Okay. So it's a ta It's kind of like a game. It's a task-based yeah. game that people will physically play yeah. somehow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. So can I have questions? Yeah, Joe. Um, how would I participate if I didn't have any thumbs or I didn't have any hands or something like that? Um, <laughs> how would you use the social media if you... Your, your, your uh, product, your thing that you're uh, creating. I haven't thought about it. I would have to use your hands. Without my hands. Without my hands. Voice, voice 
Maybe. Voice recognition systems. Yeah. yeah. Basically, mm -hmm. the, the tasks are not, now are not around only your fingers. Basically, we we'll think. Yeah, it, ha it, w it will begin as a conversation or making people actually sit down in couples and judge it each other with only the image. Uh, and then just trying to see, you know, I thought about you, is that true, and blah, 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 and all these things. And then it's not about using only your fingers, actually. It's just extracting those ideas for how, how we use them, how we behave in the social media, and, uh, and bringing them into some more physical yeah. interaction. The, the rest of the tasks, um, yeah, you need to have um, your hands and uh, your body and everything, but if you don't, then I guess the voice is a way to do that. <laughs> um, is what you're trying to create a kind of real life version of social media? So, tr like translating a swipe or a like into real life interaction? I think it's more about experiencing the opposite and that as well, to question it and to... Um, what, sorry, what do you mean by the opposite? Um, what has been lost okay. from social media and um, how we can actually experience it and see how we actually interact with people nowadays. I mean, it's, it's okay. about um, understanding it better. Yeah, it's not making an obvious translation of the movement because, mm. to be honest, you can't, re you can't make a lot of... I can't uh, think now of how m a lot of things to make out of this why because it's really, it's not really substantial to <laughs> make out of it. Do the, you the mean just the physical? I wasn't talking about the physical movement. Is that what you mean? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. because you talked about that, I mean, we're not thinking of like taking what we do in an obvious way and making oh. it. Oh, I didn't mean answer? kind of literally yeah. transposing it, but like, um, find the equivalent, the real life equivalent of what it is to swipe or what it is to etc. Somehow, yeah. Yeah. In a way, yeah. Okay. Um, it's, it's kind of two questions in one, or I, I don't really know, maybe it's two separate questions. In that case, you can just choose to answer one. Um, part of it is how you facilitate um, the audience members taking part in these tasks. And also, is it kind of <clears throat> what is their motivation for coming? Is it for like an experience, like a murder mystery where there's lots of fun and it's like a game thing? Or is it more, um, I'm guessing it's not a performance um, because it's so much audience participation. Is it like an experiment for them to discover things or fun or? I think, yeah, it's more of an, of an experiment basically. And, um, so we, everyone can join in and it's not, like we said before, we haven't thought of uh, an end point choreography or something. It's just to come in and experience some things that we might, we probably forgot that we actually have in, in physical interaction than in, and on, in, the, in the online interaction. So it's more an experiment. Uh, basically, the, the way we facilitate the audience is basically the task we made for the beginning because we were open for those tasks to <coughs> break apart. So we're just like, yeah. We're starting doing that now, but um, hopefully those experiments will expand and turn into something else. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I was just wondering that if this is a set of tasks that's intended for general public as an audience, what you would be hoping to gain from developing your ideas on a set of artists, um, some of whom have got physical backgrounds or dance backgrounds, because when you talk about swiping and that not having much potential for for movement or oh, sorry I can't remember exactly what you said but from my perspective as a dancer I could take that and go you know really yeah. ab abstract with it so I was just wondering how you might take some of the things that we do and apply that to the tasks I think the tasks do not uh, include the, this contacting idea at all yeah. is just uh, how the starting point of it. Okay, um, but but just uh, generally, like I, uh, any task that you yeah, half of the tasks have to do with conversation and mm -hmm. some exercises, and the other half of the tasks are more physical. So I I am a dancer and I yeah. my practice is based on movement, so I wouldn't leave it behind. Um, and I know you're a lot of dancers here, so I think it's. Um, 
the dancers can take it somewhere else. Other people that are not very um, um, experienced in physical way of working can take it somewhere else. I mean, in token, for that. Uh, what I mean is, if you're looking at us as a bunch of physical people yeah. doing the task, how is that information going to translate into what you give to the audience? Why, like, why, basically, would you want to experiment with this idea on us? if it's not necessarily intended for an artistic audience. I think it would be better to test it on artists first and then to get some more insight to it than going forward to other kind of public, yeah. Yeah, and I, and I guess also that you're not really, you haven't, the thing is that the data's here to be hacked, so you're not really testing anything on the, on the participants today. You're kind of looking for that developmental and collaborative relationship to, to grow the ideas. All right, thank you very much. Let's have a round of applause.